Good afternoon, everyone. CO2 Earth, are we still stabilizing yet? They used the temperatures from the 1880s to start. Of course, we're coming out of the mini ice age. What do you expect? It's going to warm up. Comparative temperatures, why are they running a tenth of a degree warmer? Incredible electric storms in South Australia with sparklers at the end. Looking at sea ice 2017-18 up with 2012-13. And when we look at the orange line, that's the baseline. You can see how much Arctic sea ice there is now. Tropopause anomaly? Minus 32 Celsius, something pulling down from our atmosphere. California looks like a volcanic eruption with the wildfires. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to ADAPT2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Had a subscriber send me a link, says check this out, your temperature readings are wrong, ours are right. Okay, I looked at CO2 Earth, are we stabilizing yet? I love how they go all the way back to 1880, they don't use a satellite record for measurement of warming. Anyway, when you go back to 1880, if you look where it says end of little ice age where the arrow is, what do you expect happens when we end a little ice age and we come into a grand solar maximum? Of course it's going to warm up. It's a natural cycle. Now we're going the other direction. Projected 24, 25, far right side. What do you think is going to happen when we dip down with almost no sunspots for 10 years or longer? I bet we're going to cool. So let's take a look at Dr. Roy Spencer's October temperatures compared to CO2 Earth. Now, why is CO2 Earth a full tenth of a degree warmer? And then how did I get the numbers from Dr. Roy Spencer? Well, he puts up his charts, but there's no charts on CO2. Are we stabilizing yet? 0.036 is what Dr. Roy Spencer has. And as you can see, it's continuing downward. If you take a look at the November temperatures, it's a steep drop. Now let's jump down to Australia. Incredible electric storms. And when I say incredible, I mean ferocious. 130,000 strikes. Skies looked like this in the beginning and twisting lightning. And then it turned out you need to watch the video on Twitter. It fizzles like sparklers at the end of it. Never seen anything like it. I watched the video like five, six times. I was so enthralled with it. This is an indication of grand solar minimum intensifying as there is an equalization of charge from our atmosphere to the Earth. You're going to see more of this as we go forward in 2018. If you thought this was incredible, you're going to understand why the ancients built underground structures and dolmens to hide from this electrical ferocity. Now jumping over to another anomaly on our planet here, not only is the wind going the wrong direction for this time of year over California from the desert out to sea, but look at these wildfires. It looks like a volcano that much smoke is coming off. Let's take a look at the Arctic sea ice extent. Now beyond the blue line, coming right up into the average and almost into the interquartile range, and again, when we talk about, oh, the Arctic ice is just disappearing, summer ice, and it can never thicken up, and it can never recover even in winter. Well, you see that little outline of orange? That's the baseline from 1981 to 2010. Now, I'll ask you, use your own eyes, how far off are we of the median baseline? Now, also talking about tropospheric anomalies, these were also forecast that we would get dips out of our atmosphere that would pull super cool air down and affect other layers of our atmosphere or even touch the planet. But here is a satellite example, coherent tropopause anomaly, meaning that this regionalized area that's minus 32 degrees Celsius and anything else around it is tens of degrees warmer Celsius means that something is pulling and dipping just into this one little tiny specific area. Now we're going to start to see more of this moving forward into 2018, 19. We're not even at the coolest period yet. 2024 is when it's supposed to be the coldest. Now we're already starting to get tropospheric dips seven years before we're supposed to get into the coldest. So imagine the exponential factor ramping up. This is just the beginning of the things you are looking for as signs that we're getting into the intensification at the moment. Now, for those of you, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays across the planet. This is going to be for December 25th. Wide out here for North America and Pacific Atlantic Ocean. 
notice the heating anomaly over on the east coast but notice the spinning vortex coming in that's going to land over california british columbia alaska this is going to be another arc atmospheric compression snow event coming up with this one as it makes landfall closer in here for you and you can see that bullseye tropospheric anomaly swinging over the great plains and as we move into december 26 that light purple is all-time record cold temperatures about to blanket at least a quarter of the united states those temperature readings are going to be minus 21 degrees Celsius. Now, zero degrees Celsius is freezing. This is going to be all-time record cold. This is going to be in Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Louisiana, Texas, and all the way down into Mexico. All-time record cold is slated. And just somehow, the grand solar minimum intensifying has nothing to do with this. It's all CO2 still somehow in the IPCC controlled media, it's still because we're putting too much CO2 up there that these record freezes, tropospheric anomalies, electrical disturbances, all just are CO2 based somehow. Thanks for watching. I wish you all the happiest of holidays.